The main reason I wanted to become an ML was to help people. And I chose the medical field because that's one of the sectors as to where I can offer my assistance. And I chose the ML program because it's, it's challenging. This was where I had my first year. That's where I learned physics, chemistry, and math. Godfrey Lawson is a medical licentiate student at LMMU, the Levy Mwanawasa Medical University in Lusaka, Zambia's capital. He's one of around 1,200 students in the country to complete their studies every year, thanks to Solidomed's Advanced Clinical Education program. Its goal is to produce more and better trained health workers by enhancing the quality of learning and teaching systems. So right here we have the main auditorium. Uh, this is, I believe, the first years having class. A medical licentiate is a health professional between a trained nurse and a physician with a wide range of skills and competencies, as Dr. Aubrey Shanzi explains. He's the medical coordinator of the ML program. Medical licentiates are medical professionals that are filling in uh, the roles of physicians in rural areas where there are very few uh, qualified physicians and patients need emergency uh, care and surgical care that is not really available. So medical licentiates are that cadre that has been produced over the last more than 20 years to try and fill in that uh, physician's um, gap, especially in the district hospitals in the, in the rural areas. But first, the students have to learn their skills. Besides the theoretical lectures, the training of the medical licentiates includes practical lessons in clinical skills labs. The skills lab is one of the important aspects in training because it uh, links practice to theory. We, we wouldn't want to subject students to real patients, the patients in the wards. So we would rather, you know, bring them in skills lab, they practice on a mannequin who is not human, and then later on they can go and practice on human being. Because in medicine, when you make uh, a mistake, the patient will die and there's nothing you can do about it. In their third year of training, the ML students are sent to regional hospitals like Esther Zulu and Paz Shimunza in the Kabwe Central Hospital to gradually gain experience on the job. For Kabwe General Hospital, the students come in for internal medicine rotation. So this is where we expect our students to master the art of clucking patients, examining patients, making good diagnoses. After making good diagnoses, what is it that, how best can the students be managed? So it looks at the whole a management of, of the patient. During her field placement, Esther is being mentored remotely. She records details on how she treats her patients in a digital log. I did it at the vascular and the respiratory system. Her remote supervisor will then give feedback on a daily basis. Right now, she treats a patient with a chronic kidney disease. So today she's been reviewed. She has no new complaints. She's saying she's feeling much better. Pass's patient suffers from a life-threatening state of anemia, a typical symptom of malaria, which is still widespread in Zambia. The blood transfusion have just commenced a few minutes ago. She came in with HBO5, which made us to classify as a severe case of malaria. After graduation, medical licentiates successfully complement the team of physicians at medical institutions such as Chongwei District Hospital. They are key for meeting the level of health care needed. So at Songwe District Hospital, we have a team of eight doctors and uh, two medical licentiates. You may not even know who is a doctor, who is a medical licentiate, in that our roles are not uh, divided in any way. We all do the same things. Our MLs are able to do operations, our MLs are able to do uh, hysterectomies, our MLs are able to do heniography. So it's a multidisciplinary team and for us as a hospital it's a plus. So going forward, uh, we look forward to have more uh, ML join us because this, this has added an advantage to our facility. But not only health personnel are in short supply, but also the lecturers who train them. That's why e-learning is key in training more nurses, more doctors and more MLs in particular. We have a very big uh, shortage of lecturers, so when learning is on, uh, on this platform, 
then we can we can accommodate more students because the human resource gap for uh, medical uh, personnel is is very big so the e-learning platforms give us an opportunity to get to more students when lecturers use the e-learning platform we don't have that issue of a limited classroom uh, space because every um, student can access the lecturer from wherever they are so that's that's one big issue because they, as i've already explained the classes are really expanding they are like four times what they used to be two to three years ago but the same lecturers the same classrooms and so on so the e-learning platforms really expand how many students we can we can get to with the enrollment of e-learning and the use of skills labs Solidamid managed to not only increase the number of mls but also their level of expertise a success based on the cooperation with the Zambian Ministry of Health and the Zambian Ministry of Education. Solidamed has been training clinical officers and medical assessors for quite some time. And in their approach, they had started building training places within the provinces where medical assessors and clinical officers would get quality training. And I myself was very fortunate that I visited all these and I was very uh, impressed with areas for clinical skills laboratories. Indeed, those laboratories have come a long way. With the support of Solidamed, the Kafue Hospital built an interdisciplinary skills lab for nurses as well as medical licentiates. Everybody involved showed their great expectations during the opening of the site in autumn of 2022. We have been looking forward to such a moment. It feels quite amazing actually, and uh, quite a privilege to open up the Skills Lab today. We've been working on this project for over a year, to, so to see it open today for the first time and to see students in the facility using the equipment is excellent. Medicine is very much a team sport, so medical licentiates, doctors, physicians, nurses, they have to work together. And a multidisciplinary Skills Lab uh, is going to give the opportunity for the training in a multidisciplinary context to take place. Even students, if we were to call one and ask them, they can't wait because they have been having challenges where to practice from in order to perfect their skills. As you can see, we have a station here for pediatrics, that is children's health. Then we have emergency medicine and surgery. And that side is internal medicine. And the nursing. Queen Muzonda is a third year ML student. She practices in the Kafue Skills Lab while already treating patients in the associated hospital. Uh, normally, when you are in Skills Lab, we're just trying to learn the technique on how to do the procedures on the patients. So, from the Skills Lab, that's where we start our techniques from before we touch the patient's face. And it also increases the professionalism and the skills on the procedures that I'm required to do. This is a patient who came in a sickle cell crisis, a sickle cell known patient. So what I was doing, I was just trying to assess if this child is dehydrated and if there's any pain or any swelling on the abdomen. I was trying to check if there's anything abnormal because sickle cell patients normally comes in with uh, inflamed or enlarged uh, spleen. Thank you. The Kafue Multidisciplinary Skills Lab is the first of its kind in Zambia, but it won't be the last. Solidamid is planning to build at least three more. We're going to be learning from operationalizing this building as we now build similar facilities in Kabwe, Chipata and Sulwezi on the ACES program. And we're just about to commission the multidisciplinary uh, vocational center of excellence in Kabwe General Hospital, which is a few hours uh, north of Lusaka. We are overjoyed to receive this uh, project funding and support from Solidamed to have this uh, clinical skills lab built at this hospital. It's a central hospital operating also as a teaching hospital. But as uh, the numbers of students have grown, we have observed the need for a proper skills lab so that we may be able to safely impart the clinical skills in these students. When the new skills lab becomes operational, it will take Zambia one step closer to the goal of improving healthcare in a sustainable way. Keep in mind that hospitals like Kafue, Kabwe, Sulwezi and Chipata, they receive students from many different institutions. So we've got a real opportunity over here 
not to just train up a small handful of students, but our training capacity can really be leveraged to train hundreds and thousands of students uh, in the years to come.